talking to you from Absolutely Fabulous at Home in New Minas. Today we're going to talk about Swedish dishcloths. Now, Swedish dishcloths were invented in 1949. They've been around a long time, but they're a North American phenomenon only in the last few years. What's so great about Swedish dishcloths? They are an alternative to paper towel. They are made from cellulose, wood cellulose, and cotton. They are very light. They're kind of like the old chamois we use on our cars, but in a very small kind of kitchen size, not car size. They are very, very absorbent. And today we're going to do a little demo to show you Swedish dishcloth versus paper towel. So I'm going to pour a quarter of a cup of water out, and I measured it so that I can repeat this for you. I'm going to pour it right here onto my table, and now we're going to find out whether we actually made this island level when we installed it. Oh, we did. Good job. How many pieces of paper towel does it take? There's one. There's two. Now this isn't any of your brand name, big quality claim to pick up. Half a bucket of water. This is our everyday paper towel. Three. Still absorbing lots of water. Four. I hope I have enough paper towel. five pieces of paper towel and I've still got lots of water so when I try to pick this up I am going to have and you can see five pieces of paper towel and I still have an awful lot of water on my counter so I'm just going to clean that up I'm going to measure out I love these measuring cups because you can look down inside of them and see your measuring instead of doing the whole squatting thing next to the counter to see if you got the right measure. So, let's measure out a quarter of a cup of water again. And see how our Swedish dishcloth works. Well, so far I've got most of the water up and I still have dishcloth. Pretty good, huh? So that is the example of how it would absorb 20 times its weight by doing it using volume of water. What I really love about these is that now when I go back and I run, I, run, I wrung out the water so that you can see and I go back and it is dry, very dry. Advantages also include the fact that you can throw it in your dishwasher to wash it. You just bring it out, lay it flat to dry and it'll be ready to go again. You can use one of these for about a year. And when you're finished with it and it's looking pretty scruffly and it's got lots of stains on it and it doesn't look like you want to put it on your counter anymore, it's compostable. So it goes back to where it came and you can start with a new one. So one of these little Swedish dishcloths, and they're available in a whole range of patterns, everything to suit your kitchen from the whimsical to the, the very cleaning, give a hoot. <coughs> One of these little cloths will replace 17 rolls of standard size paper towel use in your kitchen. When you're all done with it and it starts to look pretty grubby, you can wash them in the washing machine or in the dishwasher. Just pin them into the top of your dishwasher, throw them in with your towels, lay them flat to dry. When you're all done with it, it's stained, it's worn, it's had its life and that'll take about a year. You throw it in your compost bin. They're completely biodegradable at the end of their lives. So there you go, Swedish dishcloths. Thank you.